Hello, hello, hello. I'm Biker Game, your main main, the real Bill Real. There's this word that is floating around. It's been floating around. And I, I just want to dispel the notion, the common thought that is held by i'd say a a, a good majority of the people that are in the united states and this word is racism the definition of racism is a person being disenfranchised Because some white person, usually, has taken away their privilege, their right, has discriminated against them, caused them to pay more, denied them services, denied them credit, denied uh, some type of favor to them. And usually this is... uh, people of color I'm going to say this racism is a myth yeah it's a myth the reason why I say that racism is a myth is due to one simple fact Not all people are the same. A guy who may be white is working behind the counter. A person of color comes in and asks for the bathroom key. There happens to be someone in the bathroom at the time that they're asking for the key. They, having a bad attitude and having a prejudice, we're speaking about the person of color, having a preconceived notion that they were going to run into racism, quote, racism, when they went to this gas station causes them to now say man this is racist man I gotta go bad man and you telling me somebody's in the bathroom I I bet nobody's even in the bathroom y'all probably don't even let people like me up in y'all bathroom this is racism let me get up out of here I'm gonna pee over here in the bushes 20 minutes later There is a person of color who comes into the gas station and asks the uh, cashier for the key to the bathroom. The cashier hands him the key to the bathroom. The person of color takes the key, goes to the restroom, uses the restroom, comes back, hands the key, goes on by his business. That person of color did not feel that that environment was what we call a racist environment. But due to there being two different circumstances, two different instances that occurred, it would not be fair to say that that white cashier was racist. If a police officer shows up on the scene and feels that he has the need to brandish his gun because he feels that the situation has escalated, be he a person of color, 
and the person that he has responded to a call on happens to be a Caucasian person. He is not a racist because he feels that this situation calls for the use of his firearm. But if he has to draw his gun and point his gun in the direction of the person that is causing a ruckus, okay, that does not make him a racist. That does not state, that is not a statement of him saying, hey, I think I'm better than you. I think I have the right to be over you. I think I have the right to take your life. No, he is doing his job. So this whole racist and racism word that gets thrown around, it's a bunch of hooey. There are some people in all walks of life, all around the globe, who share a, an opinion about their lineage. There are some people who don't have the same opinion about their lineage. There are some people of color that you meet and they say, hey, I'm, I'm a man, I'm a woman, you know, I'm just doing my best to raise my family, you know, I judge everybody by the content of their character. And then there are other people who may be people of color and they will say, well, yeah, you know, we built everything, you know, and you know, we're the kings and queens of the world and we're the most dominant people and we're better than everybody else and we invented everything and everybody's language just came from us. And it, Okay. So <clears throat> the fact that you have certain people who have this opinion means that these people are bigots, okay? These people believe that they are superior to other people, be them Caucasians, be them people of color, be them uh, people of Asian persuasion. Yes. Okay? So if somebody feels pride, that's really what it is. If somebody feels pride in the accomplishments of their so-called people, because we're all really the same people, all right? We all come from one group of people. But if you have some kind of pride about your ancestors and your heritage, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, when you decide that your rights are more important than others' rights, that's where the problem comes in. For everyone to get their panties in a bunch about a statue is stupid. You cannot change the history of the United States. The United States was a very bad place, a very scary place for people of color at one time. I'm not saying that there are not people of color who do not still get lynched. I'm not saying that there are not still people of color who are shot when they didn't really pose a threat. I'm not saying that there are not people of color who don't get drugged behind pickup trucks. Okay? This stuff still happens. But if we want to go and scrub every Confederate flag, every statue, every song, every pledge, to get rid of the flag, what are we really attempting to do? Are we attempting to act as if this never happened? 
or are we supposed to learn from it? It's time out for people being so offended. That's the problem right now. If a white man walks up to a single black mother and tells this single black mother, hey, you know what, Lil Kevon, he really needs a, a male mentor in his life. That's not racist for him to state the obvious. But we live in a society, in a climate now, where if someone says something to you that is true, if it comes from the wrong colored skin mouth, oh, that's racist. That's just racist. I'm sick of this. This is racism. It's not freaking racism. Last time I checked, we got people of color in every position. They're pilots, they're school teachers, they're truck drivers, they're firemen, they're police officers, they're bank managers, they're factory workers, they're IT guys, they're Uber drivers. They're everywhere. There's an opportunity for people of color, freaking brown people, freaking uh, yellow people, white people, whoever. There's opportunity out there. So this whole racism, this whole crap from D.L. Hewley and all of the other, you know, um, hate mongers, it needs to stop. You guys really need to get on these guys' case and say, look, man, stop trying to stir up hatred, dude. Okay, because you would not have the society that we have now where we have the ability as a people of color to do anything we want to do, to have any kind of job we want to have, to live in any neighborhood we want, travel around the world, marry who we want. It would not be possible had it not been for the blood being shed of white folks. Somebody needs to say it. It's time out for this garbage that is spread through social media, through fake news, through blogs, YouTube and the like. It's time out for this crap. The only people who are trying to focus in on hatred are the people that are vibrating at a low frequency. And somebody needs to tell them, look, shut the hell up. Birds of a feather flock together. There are black people who live in the same neighborhood who don't hang out. You know why? Because some of those people are what we call degenerates. And some of those people are law-abiding law -abiding people. Okay. There are some white people that hang out with certain black people because they work with them, because they went to high school with them, because they became friends with them, and vice versa. Birds of a feather flock together. So we got to understand that not everybody is for everybody. Everybody's not going to like you. And that's not racism. I'm a person of color. I don't like all people of color. There are some people of color I don't associate with. We're not of the same ilk. We don't have anything to talk about. We're not of the same class. We, we're not of the same socioeconomic level. We're not. So we don't have anything in common. Does that make me a bad person? Because I don't have anything in common with them. Because I wouldn't want my children hanging out with them. No. That means water and oil don't mix. There are some people that would get along just fine if it were not for the constant reminders from these, horror, from these hate mongerers and fear mongerers who are always touting, always talking about racism, it's racism, you know, that's racist, that's racist, that's racist. Cut it out. 
Not everybody's going to like you. That's their right. Not everybody's going to share the same opinion as you. That's their right. There are some people that are Caucasians that certain Caucasians don't associate with, period. They hold some views that are very extreme. And some Caucasian people say, ah, I'm not touching that. I don't believe in that. I go to church with some people and, you know, I believe in, you know, that I, I can love all people. Okay. I have Indian friends. I have Chinese friends. All right. I have some black friends. I got some Hispanic friends. So we need to understand this whenever we get trapped into this whole, you know, uh, chessboard frame of mind. It's either white or it's black. Okay. And that's what these puppet masters want to do. And they use these celebrities. They use these different events to keep the whole race divide going on. See, as long as they can divide the people, they can control the people. When you get the people on one accord and harmony, oh, there is power. There's big time power in that. When there's unity, harmony, when we start to realize how many things we have in common, Instead of pointing out all the things that we have that are different. <laughs> oh, the powers don't, that be don't want that. Oh, no. uh-uh. So we got to keep these stories in the news to keep you thinking, oh, yeah, that's right. White folks don't like me. Yeah. And all the black folks, speaking of black folks, I'm speaking of black people only. And all the black people, they love me. That's the biggest crock of crap. As a person of color, I will tell you that some people of color will do you worse than a person who you suspect that's Caucasian would do you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've rambled on long enough, but I'm sick and tired of hearing this word racism thrown around. It's a bunch of junk. You guys need to cut it out. There's classes of people. There's high class people. There's low class people. Let's not get it twisted. That's my video for today. I'll talk to you later. Peace.